are you guys doing? It's Antoy. Welcome to my blog. And today we're going to talk about passion. So I'd like to share my experience with you guys as far as how I was able to discover my passion. You can definitely utilize this exercise to clarify what you're passionate about and even who you're passionate about. What would you do if someone gave you $20 million and paid the taxes for you? You could do whatever you wanted that you were passionate about, whether it was for yourself, for others, for your friends, to family, to spouses, to career, to business, or whatever, the world. Because when you remove the financial aspects of deciding what to do, it really frees your mind to be creative and immediately know from your core within you what you're truly passionate about. You just let your mind flow free and make a list. Things that you would do, the relationships that you would have, the career that you would have, the even the toys that you would have in your life. And definitely once you make that list, bring yourself back to your current reality and see how many of those things from the space that you're in right now, you could actually begin creating and making baby steps towards making some of these things begin to happen and making long-term plans as far as making some of them happen. Now, I don't want you to make this list and suddenly start cutting people off or quitting your job because pursuing your passion does take some planning. You do have to take steps, um, wise steps towards moving towards that passion. I definitely want you guys to try this exercise and definitely maybe it will clarify what is your passion and what can you do to move towards living your passion in a greater way. So once I discovered what my passion was, I wanted to find out everything I could possibly find out. So you guys want to do the same thing. You want to do as much background information and research on your passion. You have to have an understanding of the market, if it's a business related thing, if it's a personal situation, have all the factors in place. Be fully understanding and informed about what you'd be jumping into. Once you do your research, you really need to assess if, based on what is required, do you have the physical ability, mental ability, and the skills to pursue this passion and be really realistic about it. If you have no skills <laughs> and you're trying to get into something that is your new passion, you're going to have to either develop those skills, you may have to go back to school, or you may have to up your game, especially if it's a dating scenario that you want to create new relationships and if you can't actually do that particular passion if you can do something within that field that's close to it that keeps you within that passion then that would be great as well whatever your life is whatever your current reality you want to start there you don't want to just cut everything loose and jump into this new passion you know a lot of people discover their passion they quit their jobs they break up their relationships they do it or to jump into something else yes it might work for some people but in most cases you do have to do a transition that will be healthy for you. Start where you're at in your current scenario and make plans to step into that passion successfully. I would also try to network as much as possible with people that were already in the industry of what my passion was. You have to start putting yourself in that new group of people and putting yourself out there fully as who you are within that new group. You know, it's all about who you know. People are gonna recommend you, people will refer you, so you definitely want to establish yourself within your new passion network. You definitely want to save your money <laughs> because a lot of times jumping into your passion doesn't always necessarily pay you right away in some cases. So you definitely want to give yourself the most successful um, financing possible to accomplish these goals um, in, in your new passion. So what if you do all this, you pursue your passion, and you realize this isn't really what I want to do? It's okay. The great part about it is at least you discovered something that you were passionate about, and you went after it, you did it, you gave it your all, but you found out once you got into it that it wasn't truly what you were passionate about. And now you're going to move on to something else that makes you happy. 
if you have an inner core that believes that this is the way it's going to work and this is the best way to go about it, that's really what's going to work for you. Once you've done your research and once you process everything and once you assess you know, your skills and you do your networking and all of that, you're really the one that has to kind of know the best direction to go in for you. So, you know, take all the advice, but also don't forget it's your journey. So you definitely have to guide that journey and everyone's journey is different. So no one can tell you specifically, this is your path and this is how you're going to get there. Do this, 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 and this, and, and this will happen. There's nobody that's responsible for creating a passionate life, but you. And if you look around and you see things that may not be up to par as far as what you would love to be in your life, you have to start making steps to make those changes. I'm wishing you guys all the best and for you to live the most passionate life possible with lots of loving relationships, getting up every day and going to a job and a career that you love and having positive loving interactions with the other people in your lives and just having a very passionate life. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Antoy. Go to youtube.com backslash the Antoy show to check out more Antoy shows and Antoy vlogs and definitely go to mangoseed.tv for more inspiring content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.